Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Monday Messages. I'm Katie J. And today we are talking about accepting and healing the past. A lot of people are spending a lot of time at home right now just with some time to think or some time to reflect and time to meditate. And that time has brought up a lot of past wounds that they're realizing are not healed yet. So today we're going to talk about how you can move on from the past so that that energy stops affecting your manifestations, stops affecting what it is that you attract into your life. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first point that I want to emphasize is that the present moment right now, everything that's around you, everything that you see in your life, everything that you have in your life, everything that's in your bank account is a manifestation of the past. The present moment is a combination of all past thoughts, past beliefs, and past actions. So if you want a new reality, if you want a better reality, if you want to manifest something that you've never had in your life, that you've never experienced in your life, then you will need new thoughts, new beliefs, and new actions, okay? That is the groundwork for today. As long as you know that going forward, we're going to be good, okay? So make sure you write that down if you didn't already. The present moment is a manifestation of the past. So we cannot change the past. We cannot change something that has already happened, right? We can all agree on that. We cannot go back and undo some awful thing that someone said to us or horrible thing that somebody did to us. This is not about justifying what awful thing has happened in your life because we've all experienced setbacks. We've all experienced awful people. We've all experienced somebody hurting us. That is a part of life. You cannot change what has already happened. But if you are thinking back on that past event or that past person, maybe that breakup, maybe that um, falling out with a friend, and you're thinking back on that negative event and you, or sorry, you think back on that event and you think of it in a negative light, like she was awful towards me or um, you know, my parents were abusive towards me and like they're awful people and that was awful and everything about it was horrible and da 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 or um, you know, I can't believe that he that guy cheated on me, I'll never forgive him, he's such an asshole, he's a dick, da 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 and you like have all of these negative feelings and negative emotions around something that's happened in the past, then guess what? Those thoughts that you're thinking right now in the present moment when you're reflecting on that past, that's affecting your emotions. That is impacting the vibration that you are feeling in the present moment. And what you are thinking and feeling in the present moment determines your future. So thinking back on all of the negative things, thinking back on all of the unhelpful things in your past and and shedding a light on them that is... um, basically unhealed. That's the, that's what I'm trying to get to is that if you have not healed your relationship to the past, if you have not accepted it, healed it, forgiven it and grown from it, then it's going to continue to impact your current reality and continue to impact your current emotions, which will impact your manifestations every single time, every single time without fail. The emotions that you feel now, right now, determine what you will attract. They determine your future. So here are some examples. One example is the sister wound, something that I'm talking about a lot now that I'm launching online women's circles. So a lot of women maybe had a falling out with a bestie or um, something like that. Like they, they have some sort of wound with another female, another woman in their life, whether that's their mom or a sister or a friend. And they have trouble creating deep friendships with other women. They have trouble trusting other women. They have trouble moving past uh, competition barriers with other women. And those are the types of things that my circles are intended to heal and to move past so that women together can combine into a greater, stronger force for good on this planet. 
Another example is maybe your dad wasn't present in your life, or maybe he wasn't emotionally available, or maybe he was abusive. Maybe he just wasn't nice to you. And now you have shitty relationships with men or attachment issues with men, or you can't seem to manifest a relationship that is healthy with a man or woman in your life. Maybe you have poor communication with them, um, or you have trouble speaking your truth because you are continuously looking back on your relationship with your dad and saying like, he was awful. It was awful. Like he wasn't around and that, and that just stays in your energy field. It just stays in your vibration. And when you think about those things, it creates more of it in your life because when you think triggers and emotions throughout your entire body, that is your vibration, your emotions. Another example, this is a big one right now, debt and money because a lot of people are getting laid off with the whole coronavirus situation. So maybe you saw your parents struggle with money or your parents struggle with debt or your a sibling struggle with debt. And so you have extremely negative views about debt and money and what money does to people and how it causes stress. And um, that can trigger self-worth issues. So you don't think that you're worthy of money. If you get money, you spend it all. You um, attract unexpected bills all the time. And you know, some, maybe sometimes it's feast or famine with your work and you don't feel supported by money. You always feel broke. Those are all manifestations of you not healing the past, you not addressing your relationship with money and fully healing it. So how do we heal these things? How do we move on? How do we stop letting the past impact our manifestations and impact our future? So if your present moment is a manifestation of the past, then your future is going to be a manifestation of the present moment, right? We're all clear on that. So how do we bring this awful cycle to an end? The first step is to bring awareness to it, which you're doing right now. So congratulations, you are one step closer to healing the past and to accepting it. So realize within that awareness, like bringing the awareness to the fact that you cannot change the past. You cannot change what's already happened. You can, on, you can only change how you think about it and how you feel about it. You are in control of that. You're not in control of what has already happened, but you are in control of how you think and feel about the past. So step one is to bring awareness to it. Step two, learn from it. What is the lesson here? Maybe the lesson isn't even your lesson. It's not necessarily part of your life journey, but it's just realizing that that person who hurt you, that person who you had a falling out with is going through their own life journey. They are doing the best that they can with the tools and practices and information that they have access to right now. That's it. They're doing the best they can. Now, the best they can might be a shit job. They might still be a shit parent, but you can still say, you know what? I'm going to love them anyway. I'm going to, what I'm learning from this situation is that everybody has their own path and that they were suffering too. They didn't know any better. I, they didn't know any better either. They were also in the dark as far as the fact that their past was going to Im impact their future and impact their kids and impact the other people around them. They didn't even know any better. So now that you have learned from it, maybe you've learned something like um, you learn about a trigger that you have. And so you know that if someone brings up, like, for example, one of my triggers is my dog. So if someone like comes at my dog or like some way verbally attacks my dog, like I get pissed. Right. And so I now know that there are certain people in my life that I have a negative or, or have had a negative view of because they came at my dog or my relationship with my dog. And so I can take that and say, all right, I can learn from this and say, I'm being a mama bear. I'm being a little bit over, you know, overprotective here. And they're just doing the best that they can. They're just trying to make a joke or they're just trying to make conversation. And I need to let it go. Like, I truly need to not let this impact me and not let this um, impact my manifestations because it's so much more, my manifestations are so much more important than holding on to that 
negative energy towards that person. So step two is to learn from it. Learn that it's not your job to change them. It's not your job to have them see your way. It's your job to just love them anyway and let it go. The third step is to heal it. So when, especially when it comes to the past and healing the past, my go-to is forgiveness. Forgiveness. Forgive them. Forgive them of what they didn't realize they were doing. Forgive them that they hurt you. Forgive them that, the, and you don't have to like go up to this person and say, I forgive you for hurting me. No, you can forgive them silently in your own heart. That's all it takes is just to say, you know what? It's really not worth me holding on to this and it affecting my manifestations. It's really not. And I would rather forgive you and move on with my life and start attracting things that I actually desire than to hold on to this negative energy towards you. So I forgive you. I'm forgiving this. And it's not about them. It's not about them. Forgiveness is never about them. Forgiveness is always about you. Forgiveness is always about your choices, your control, what it is that you want to call into your life. And if you want to continue to call in low vibration shit, then hold on to your low vibration shit. If you want to continue, if you want to start calling in the high vibration desires that are laid on your heart, then let everything else go that does not serve that. The last thing is a lot of people ask like, well, I have to forgive them every single time this comes up or every single time I realize I'm having those thoughts or those emotions or reflecting on the past in a negative way. No, once you've healed it and once you've decided that you've forgiven them, you will, you know, have to, the analogy that I'll give right now is like my scar on my chin. Like first there were stitches, right? That was like the healing process. And then after that, the stitches came out and I'm just doing scar care now. I'm putting vitamin E on it um, regularly, like every single day, but I'm not having to like reseal the wound. The wound is already sealed with forgiveness. Now you're just putting vitamin E on it and like what I call revisit and release. So if you realize that those thoughts are coming up again, or you realize that that past situation is affecting you again, realize that it's happening, step one, and then revisit it like, okay, what's the truth here? The truth is that I've forgiven them. The truth is that he was just doing the best that he could with the tools that he knew how. The truth is that, um, she probably had no idea that she was hurting me. The truth is that I forgive them and we're going to move on. And that's it. Healing takes time. And it will come up again and again. But now you have the awareness and the practices to not let it determine your vibration. The awareness and the practices. If you have those two things then you can heal anything. You can heal any past wound. You can accept, heal, and grow from, learn from any past wound. It does not need to be complex. It does not need to be hard, and it does not need to be time-consuming. The first time I did a forgiveness exercise with my dad, it maybe took like an hour, and now every time I feel that coming up, I'm like, oh, there it is. There it is. But guess what? It doesn't have to be that way. I don't have to feel resentment. I don't have to feel fear. I don't have to feel shame. I don't have to feel guilt. I don't have to feel any of those things. Because the truth is, I'm in control of my thoughts. I'm in control of my emotions. And right now, I am controlling the outcome by controlling my thoughts and emotions. That's all it is. That's really all it is. It's that simple. And a lot of people come to me and they're like, you know, this psychic or this energy healer told me about x y and z going on in my heart space and it's great to know those things and it's totally awesome to um have that awareness that that person can give you but but you can do the healing so if they're like okay it's going to be another two grand to heal that for you maybe you want to pay them that two grand awesome that's up to you but you can do the healing yourself. You don't need a healer to do it because you were born a healer. Look at this. My body heals itself. You can heal yourself. 
You can heal the past. You can let it go. You can learn from it. And you can move on. Yeah, maybe you'll have to revisit it once or twice, a few times here and there, maybe a dozen. There's no set time frame on how long it takes any one person to heal any one wound, right? Be patient with it, but know that even just having the awareness, just watching this video will bring so much of that healing energy to the surface and allow you to resolve, allow you to forgive, and allow you to say, you know what? Fuck that. This is no longer going to impact my life. This is no longer going to impact my manifestations. I'm ready to truly love. I'm ready to truly be here and to be me. So that's it for today's Monday message. In the email that you got from me, there will be some information about the women's group that I referenced, where we will be healing, learning, and growing together as a collective and supporting each other's manifestations because eight hearts, there's going to be eight of us in this group. Eight hearts are so much stronger than one. If you've never heard about or learned about collective manifestation, I would encourage you to look up Dr. Joe Dispenza. He talks a lot about it in his book, Becoming Supernatural, and the power of multiple people putting out the energy of a specific vision at the same time. And we're going to do that together in this group. And we're going to support each other and love each other. I'm really excited about it. It's like something I've been working on for the past several months. And now is the time. And now is the, now is the perfect time to bring women together to support one another. The world needs what we have to offer. End of story. <laughs> I'm super pumped about it. So if you have any questions, feel free to just shoot me an email. I love you. And I'll see you next time on the Monday Messages. Mwah.